Without further ado, welcome back to the web trivia. It's your daily slash weekly, depends on where you're from, to form the YouTube audience. Nothing ever changes. It's an evergreen, ever living piece of content that just gets sent to the ether and sometimes it gets absorbed and sometimes it gets rejected by the algorithm. Mostly rejected, but you know, I'm, I'm not really holding it accountable for that. That's just life. Anyway, we're doing web trivia. We always get India to start with, just from principle. The I'm trailer is permanently gone from my list, by the way. I don't. I think uh, I came to the same conclusion that everybody came to when they tried to do trailer every day is like, there's just nothing else. Everything valuable has been sucked out from that and has been replaced with absolutely nonsense. And. Unfortunately, that's the consequence of your actions at the end of the day. You enjoyed it and it was done with enjoyment. A few things are like that. Anyway. Italy is warmer. Maybe, I don't know, Latvia is warmer. Okay, okay. Romania is cooler. I would have... I misjudged the positioning. Okay, Moldova is next to Romania. Keep that in mind. Ukraine. Uh, Latvia is still the closest one, but it's not bordering Latvia. Maybe it's um, Finland. Yes, that would that would appear to make the most sense given the proximity of the countries. Okay, we're off to a great start. I think it goes without saying. Maybe this is the day we do a flawless geographical one. Yes, I I'm I had to be the bearer of bad news. Is this just Madagascar? It's actually not Madagascar at all. Okay, it's. I swear Sri Lanka doesn't look like this, but maybe I'm just completely wrong. I am completely wrong. It doesn't look like this at all. Um, is this? No, Laos looks a bit different to this. Thailand also looks different, but I'm guessing the ballpark of the region more than I am. Okay. This is, isn't Taiwan more round though? I don't know what is, it is Taiwan. Okay. I don't know why I thought Taiwan was a rounder shape, but I guess I was mistaken. I'm glad I didn't stick to my guts on that one because my guts would have been completely incorrect. Complete failure it would have been. In any case. Okay, Norway to Portugal, easiest of my life. And there's a new perfect way to do travel, by the way. The perfect method is to go from A to B in a stepwise direct perfect line. So to go, no, I don't know if Norway and Denmark have a connection. I'm gonna assume they do, because that is correct. Okay, Denmark, probably Germany, if I had to guess. Yep, probably Germany. Now, Germany to France, France to Spain. Perfect, okay. But I'm... I'm missing a Norway to Denmark. Is it, is it literally just the Sweden? Okay. So you're telling me I, because I didn't guess Sweden first, because somehow Sweden borders Denmark, but Norway doesn't, despite the fact that, okay, there's like a small boundary. Is there a land boundary? Be honest with me, be for real with me. Is there a land boundary between Sweden and Denmark? Do one of these islands have like 50-50 ownership and that's what's going on here? Because if that's the case, then I'll accept it begrudgingly. If that's not the case, then get out of my face. And we still got it correct, so it's not really a complaint on my part, but I think it's only fair. Like, that was as perfect as you can get in any situation. Okay, this is... What is this? This is Barbados? This is Dominica? This is Trinidad? Yes, okay. And Tobago, I can't forget the Tobago, or Tobago, I don't know, how, how do you pronounce to Trinidad and Tobago? Pronunciation, Google help me out in here. Give me the British pronunciation that's closer to my phonetics. Um, it's muted. Trinidad and Tobago. Tobago. But is the American pronunciation different? Trinidad and Tobago. It's the same. It's Tobago. Okay. 
Thank you for your service. You can go back to being muted for some reason. I don't know why I muted Google itself. Maybe I'm looking at something weird. Anyway, we I think that's a technical flawless. It's not the flawless, but it's like a perfect, correct set of answers, geographically speaking. You have to give me credit for knowing this stuff, by the way, because there's no reason for me to know it. I'm knowing for the sake of knowing, and that's the fundamental beauty of knowledge, is knowing for the sake of knowing. Speaking of the knowing for the sake of knowing, I don't know this. 90, 55, 20 million views. How would I know this? Better question is, how does anybody know this? Nobody's alive at this point, which means it must be iconic somehow. Let's, let's, let's try. Put my mind in like an old ass movie frame. Do not understand. This doesn't sound like a song from the 1955, but maybe, okay, what, what, what do I know if that's old as hell? But I don't know the time reference or the time frame. Garfunkel, is it, is it like some random song like this? I don't know, I don't know, yes, okay, it's not. They had electrical guitars in the 1950s? I guess they did. They had electricity after all. They went to the... Well, they, it was about 15 years off from the moon, I think, but... They're in... They're about in the time frame. It's not even gonna help me. Now, it's taking me to a place... Tubular bells. It, maybe it's whatever that is. Ooh, you hit that note very nice. Is it one of these? Is it I walk the line? Only you. Yes. Well, I mean, there's only so many ways you could give a clue on that one. Not a bad song. Never heard of the platters. I'm going to Google them real quick. We're going to see what the hell they were on about. An American vocal group. Very dis distinct, successful from L.A. And this song is one of their most well-known ones, I guess. Seems reasonable. Seems like music i don't know i can't find myself listening to music from the 1950s if not for like a novelty situation why would it is i don't know like i think 1960s some songs from the 70s onwards are you can justify pretty much any any music to listen to i think that's the point where you start hitting like mu music is like is worth listening to on its own merit universally if it's good that is if it's your taste I don't know, like, it's just, maybe, maybe my confidence is mistaken in this kind of claim, but I just, I just can't find myself being like, yeah, yeah, 1950s music is really hitting the spot for me in this particular situation, but everything else, you know, I don't know. It, he, here's my take on it then, that I've refined it. You can't be an anti-pop music of the modern love the last 10 years kind of guy and be a 19 you have to you have to, you have to pick one or the other as in you, you as in you can't pick one or the other you have to be a both kind of guy you have to be okay with listening to like um olivia rodrigo or whatever and then also be like yeah but 1950s music it has a certain appeal to it and then you're like you're like cultured and you're based somehow but you can't you can't just pick one lamb it doesn't make sense in my humble Humble opinion, as a guy who's not really in either frame, personally. Well, all I listen to is random. Oh, not random, I guess. No. Teko 27, Hatsune Miku songs. Eve. You know me a lot. I don't think, I don't think you know me's released new tracks in a while. Maybe I just haven't kept up with it. 
Anyway, good for him. Pokemon Hurdle, another one that I fail every time. Okay, well, I mean, we can we can figure this one out. It's 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 um. Is it this one? It's the gym. It's the gym battle theme from Red. It could be from Gold as well. It's one of these. Maybe it's a t Team Rocket Bell Red. It doesn't. This doesn't help me because it's the letter recognition map patterns is not working. Maybe blue will help me. Maybe yellow will help me. Is it uh, this? I don't know. What the, I don't know if there's significant differences between the GB and GBC music themes for this thing exactly. Maybe slight ones. It's there's there's it's it's one of these man, but I don't know which one it is. Cause this doesn't help me enough. It's not it's not leading me to the right to the right promised land. They have a, I don't even remember. Well, I'm screwed. What is it? What the fuck? Can I, okay, I take I take offense. It was a wild Pokemon theme. They, they, they is this? They just fucked it up. It's Pokemon Crystal first of all, which is, I mean, probably the best of the older games. I mean, without question, it was that definitive edition. I think they intended to end Pokemon there, but then they were like, okay, people still want to play Pokemon. Let's continue this. Let's make, let's make this one-time thing into like a generational eternal media product. And they succeeded, and I love it, but you know. I think everybody was kind of... I don't know if this is true, and I'm basing this off of like te testimony that I've heard from like Wikipedia or whatever. Like I've read some shit and maybe I'm believing it, or that I'm just thinking about it in my own mind. Is that obviously Gold and Silver was supposed to be sequels in the most literal sense to the first game, in the sense that they included all of Kanto, which no generation really ever did since then, to be like a direct sequel in that sense, except for Black and White Two. But there was that was no, there was no, it was the same generation really, but it's the closest analogous comparison, I guess. But. At the same time, I think they were intending to end it there, and then Crystal came out, and they were like, okay, this is the definitive final Pokemon, like, universal game. You got, like, except you got, you get to choose whether you're a boy or a girl, which is, like, a, you know, thing that now is, like, a, you know, the infamous opening Pokemon line. It asks you your name, you choose your character, whatever. And then, you know, what else was there? There was like color, there was some other story elements about Suicune. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Animated sprites, I think Crystal was the first to have. I'm not sure if that's the case or not. But there was a whole bunch of like, they were like, I am, we are pushing the limits of this console at the time. Which is, I think, a shame nowadays. I mean, maybe it's not a shame in the sense that, in, this, in the way that I understand it, maybe, but like, to go on a slight tangent here, we don't get a pushing the limits of consoles game for Pokemon anymore. Maybe maybe we do, and that's literally because now we're pushing the limits of what can be done within like a year and a half. Maybe now they're taking more time to put things into perspective and make it a reasonable game. Because I still love Scarlet and Violet. It's probably in my top half of Pokemon games I've played. But you still have to be objective and realize, yeah, it was a great game. 
I push back against criticism of the game. I don't push back against criticism of like the graphics being poor or like it being running really slow or whatever, you know, just true. But anyway, that's that's it's it's neither here nor there nor anywhere. In fact, so wax wax model. Sorry, I'm playing through some. Ryunosuke Naruto, hold on moments, if you know, you know. Anyway, um, hit me with one shuffle just so that I can get, okay, scimitar is like a old ass sword. We conduct drum, symbol, okay, symbol and symbol being here and here. You're, you're funny, you're funny. Train station, train track. Train model, train conductor, things to do with trains. Train, okay, train station, train conductor, train model. The track is not tracks. Train track makes no sense. Come on now. Um, train, train car. We call them carriages, not cars, in my opinion, at least. Train, train. Okay, but we do have these to write. Train, mark, train, drum, train, symbol, train, wax, train, example, train, symbol, train, symbol, train, symbol, train, symbol, train, train, symbol, train, ideal. Okay. We'll, we'll simmer on it. We'll let it, we'll let it sit at the back. We'll put a lid on that pot. While we're there. Literally simmer, by the way. Um, Simitar. Symbol, symphony, symbol? <laughs> is this too droll? Is this too like literal thinking? We have less options to get things wrong now. Although we, cause we kind of like, made my usual mistake of going all in. Which, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. What do you mean to do about it? Let's think. Example, ideal, symbol, mark, mark doesn't really fit, model, okay, well that puts a, then track, car, station, and conductor have to be the one. Okay, we made it through the easy parts. Now, what the hell is this? Drum, symbol, symphony. Okay, wig. Okay, what could mark possibly mean? Obviously, literally like a mark, like something you point out, like there's a mark on that. What do you call it? Like a, like a alternate color splotch of some kind. Now, am I crazy to think that these all have the, the SI starting noise? That's the only guess I can possibly put through. You fucking bastards. I hate you. I hate you and I hate me for getting this correct. Like, that's not right, is it? That's not right, is it? Eardrum, earwax, earwig, ear, earmark. Easy enough. Once you see it, it's easy enough. What the fuck else could wax be? Okay. Okay. Symbol, scimitar, symbol, symphony. I see you. Also, there was no relation to Simmata anywhere else. Nor was there Simma. In fact, that was easy hard. If you think about it. They didn't give you any alternative and confused you at the same time the idea that that's what was, that's what they would look. Okay, the main thing you look for was fashionable at best. I'm gonna try and get the crossword as fast as I can. Play with an account, go. Form of exercise. Yoga. Am not. Uh, am too. Or something. Uh, 
rock noise places for body treatments back super tail lookalikes um yeah yams sound Me um metal okay what is this uh the old well, then what is this then Okay, well we fucked up this one. Cookies. Oh, oh, R. Cat pose or downward dog. I fucked this one up. Okay, forget about the record. I was going too fast. Now that we've missed like a time window, we can focus. Oreos, <laughs> segs. Um. Out of bed, um, get up. No one, no one uses this if that's what they're going for. Um, this has to be yoga because everything else just checks. Places for body treatments. Okay. Um. O a n a o a n. This that does that mean? R two. That doesn't seem right. R is correct. The T here. This is confusing. Cat pose or downward dog. It's a it's a it's a pose. It's um Spas, spas, not on your body, places for that you treat your body in a spa. Okay. Um, I don't know what an asana is. I don't know. Aso, I've never heard. Is this some like old British child diss? <laughs> it's it's you can hear it in like a posh accent. Ah, oh, so if not you, then who? You know, that was a tricky one. I won't be breaking any records with it, but you know what? We definitely won't be breaking our records with strands because I suck at it. That's life. Okay. Um. Toad. <laughs> Rake. Um, oh, marriage, I see. Marry... Is there a G? Okay, marry. We got one without any help. Can we do a finally do a hintless run of this accursed game? I need to do it because I think it actually is helping my brain in a fucked up way. Because I'm not good at this, but it can be. I know I've got the potential locked up inside. Um, date. There's no dating, I guess. Um, is there a divorce? <laughs> I think there actually maybe there's V O R, but there's a C. Oh, there is a C E, but they're not because there is not like an obvious connection here. Okay. Um.
Oh, retirement is in here somewhere. Retire. Um... It's just retire, I guess, with no mint. Mile. Okay, marry, retire. Is that graduate then? How am I, I, my mind is expanding. Um... Miles Edgeworth? Okay, you marry, you graduate, you retire, what are the words? Think of the words and then look at the thing. And then your neurons will activate in ways that they do not usually do and then it'll work out. Okay, marry, retire, graduate. Is that like a birth? Which I guess wouldn't make sense. We're building up hints for some reason. Hmm. Um. Now the question is in this in this like trough of words. Are they making me do it this way or that way? Which because is it elim or mile something or other? Oh, milestones, of course. Milestones. Hey, how does this work? There's a word, there's just, there's letters trapped in here. <laughs> I'm trying to make something of it. Taught is a word with an E. I know taught is a word, but with an E? They'll accept anything these days. Crawl. Speak. I see it now. Drive. Okay, this is confusing me. Okay, E T V O E T O V E V T O E V O T V E T O V cannot go to V O E T O oh, vote v vote. You don't usually put four letter words in there. I don't know why it was just like there's no way to do it. You have to give me a lot of credit. That was hard, and at the t at the same time it was kind of easy. Okay, according to these this um list of things, you crawl, speak, drive, graduate, vote, marry, retire. <laughs> I'm sure people do all those things at least once in their lives. Some people, I guess, maybe. Who knows? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put a marker here. If you wanna see the rest of the web games, stay tuned. And subscribe for more. Cause I think it I think it just makes sense to split these up nowadays. Cause they're getting a bit long and I wanna I wanna have room to talk without making the video like two hours long. So yeah. Stay tuned to most likely if you're watching this on YouTube tomorrow, you'll see the rest of them. But there's no reason to, you know, worry about it. So enjoy.